Hello and welcome to another episode of Zeno's Life. Today we have Nabit with us and he will be discussing IGCSE mathematics. Over to you, Nabit. Hey, everybody. Today we will be discussing topic one for IGCSE math, which is straight time graphs. All right, let's begin. So uh, we have the syllabus for straight line graphs over here. We have, um, it's a relatively simple topic and we have four points. So we need to understand how to interpret the equation of a straight line uh, in the gradient intercept form y equals mx plus c then we need to know how to transform given relationships which have ax to the power n and ab to the power x and determine unknown constants all right so we have solving equations which have the midpoint and length of a line and we also need to know the conditions uh, for finding the equation of perpendicular bisector uh, and also uh, the conditions for the two, two lines to be parallel or perpendicular all right so we, we'll start with a uh, look at the Cartesian plane. So this is the Cartesian plane. We have the x-axis uh, laying uh, horizontally and the y-axis uh, here vertically. And then this is the slope intercept format for a line, which is y equals mx plus c. So over here, y and x are the positions of, the, of a point along the y and x-axis respectively. And we have the y-intercept, which is uh, characterized by c and it, uh, it is the point where the line cuts the y-axis and x equals to zero, and it's in the form zero comma y. So uh, we also have the uh, gradient for the line, which is m, and that's the measure of how inclined the line is, and it can be uh, measured using rise over run as well. All right, so moving on. So this is a line, a straight line on the Cartesian plane, and we have the y-intercept zero comma minus one. We have, the x intercept as well, though it's not part of the gradient intercept form. Uh, x intercept over here is 1, comma 0. And the gradient for this line is a uh, rise over 1, which is 1. The formula for the gradient is uh, you take any two points in the form x1, comma y1 and x2, comma y2, and you find out the gradient using y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. And the gradient is usually characterized using m. So now we have uh, transforming given relationships. All right, so we'll start from the left and we have a, like, a, a relationship given the format y equals ax to the power n, where a and n are constants. So uh, over here, we need to use logarithms and we take log on both the sides. So we have log y equals log ax to the power n. Then we simplify using laws of logarithms. And then we have log y equals n log x plus log a. And that is uh, kind of similar to the equation of uh, uh, of a straight line in the gradient intercept form. And it's uh, so log y is uh, log y is can be compared to y and log x to x, n to m and log a to c. So when you when you plot a, a line a, a graph of log y against log x, you'll get a linear graph with a uh, gradient n and a y intercept log a. Similarly. You have y equals a b to the power x, where a and b are constants. Uh, uh, and then you, so you you also take log over here and simplify similarly. But over here you get log y equals log b times x plus log a. Uh, and uh, log y can be compared to y and x can be compared to x. So when you plot a graph of log y against x over here, you'll get a linear graph with uh, the gradient log b add y intercept uh, log a. So uh, that's it for transforming relationships. And then we have uh, the formula for a midpoint of a line, which is, uh, so you have two points, you have, you have the line a, a comma b, and you have two points uh, x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2. So you, you find the midpoint m by averaging the x and y uh, so x and x and y parts of bo both the coordinates. So you have x one plus x two by two, comma y one plus y two by two. So if you if you sort of imagine it uh, as taking an average of both the points, it will be easier to remember. Um, ne next up, we have the length of a line, and this can be uh, you, you can learn this intuitively by sort of uh, forming a, tri a triangle with hypotenuse AB. So when you imagine that. You, you can see that how the difference of x and y coordinates can uh, can, can form the uh, perpendicular and uh, base uh, respectively. And then you have, uh, you square them. And the sum of their squares, when you square root that, that gives you the hypotenuse. 
So the formula for this will be x2 minus x1, which gives you the base. Uh, uh, and then you have y2 minus y1, which gives you the uh, hyper, uh, sort of perpendicular. And then x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Uh, whole root is the length of the line AB. All right. Now, next up, we have uh, uh, we have a few things to note, uh, and that is the uh, the gradient of line is an important property and useful for finding uh, perpendicular bisectors, and we'll have a look at that later. Uh, for, uh, and the gradient also has a couple of properties, where any any line which is a, a parallel to a line with gradient m will also have a gradient m. So uh, all parallel lines, so any uh, two lines which are parallel will have the same gradient. And then we have, uh, we also, we can also say that if a line has gradient M and a second line is perpendicular to that line, then the gradient of the line will be minus one by M. So if a line is perpendicular, if line A is perpendicular to line B, the gradient of line A will be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of line B. Uh, okay. So now we'll take a look at a few example questions to help so, uh, to uh, to make you understand uh, whatever we just covered. Um, so the first question is this one, and we have points A and B which lie on line L, and then line L passes through point C, which has gradient one by uh, one by six, and uh, uh, and then meets uh, which meets uh, meets line L at point D. So we need to uh, calculate the coordinates of line uh, point D for six points. Uh, for six marks, sorry, and uh, the equation of line uh, through D perpendicular to the line three y minus two x equals ten. Um, all right. So first, we find the gradient of line M, uh, a line L, uh, using the formula which we covered earlier, and we get minus three by five. Then we find the equation of line L, so that will be five y plus three x equals forty four. Then we find the equation of uh, the uh, the line which passes through L at point D which is C, uh, comma, C, 6, comma, minus 4, and the gradient of that line is minus 1 by, uh, sorry, 1 by 6. So we find the equation of that line, which comes out to be 6y equals x minus 30. So um, moving on, we have the intersection point for the lines is D. So and we need to find D. So when we simultaneously solve these uh, equa uh, the, the equations for these lines, uh, by substituting the value of x in 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 two uh, x from two to one, we get five y plus three bracket six y plus thirty equals forty four. So when we simplify that, we get y equals minus two, and we can put we can plug in that value of y into either of the equations to get the value of x, which comes out to be eighteen. So d comes out to be eighteen comma minus two. Uh, that's the first part of the question. Now moving on to the second part, we have the line three y minus two x equals ten, and we have d. So when we convert three uh, y minus two x comma uh, equals ten to uh, y equals m x plus c, we get that the gradient for the line is two comma three. So now uh, the gradient to a line perpendicular to this will be minus three comma two because uh, the gradient to a line perpendicular is the negative reciprocal. Excuse me. So now we have uh, y plus 2 equals minus 3 by 2 whole bra uh, bracket x minus 18. So we, we uh, use the uh, point D and the gradient minus 3 by 2 to, for, uh, to find the equation of that line. And that comes out to be y equals minus 3 by 2x plus 25. All right. So now we move on to the second question. Uh, and that is the variables x and y are such that when the third root of y is plotted against 1 by x, a straight line passing through the points 0 0.2 comma 5 and 1 comma 13 is obtained. We need to express y in terms of x. Uh, all right. This is a question of transforming given relationships. So we have both the points. We find the gradient, which is simple. So we use the formula. We get the gradient as ten. Now we uh, we uh, we substitute the third root of y instead of y, and one by x instead of x. So now we have the third root of y minus thirteen equals ten one by x minus one. So when we simplify this, we get the equation. Uh, equa uh, we get the relationship between x and y, which is that y equals 
10 by x plus 3 whole cubed. Uh, that is it for today, guys. Uh, we have uh, we, we, we covered straight line, which is a relatively simple topic. And if you keep practicing, you'll be sure to crack it. Um, a few important things to note are uh, the midpoint formula, the distance formula, uh, uh, the uh, way to find perpendicular bisectors, and also how to transform relations. Thank you so much, Navit. Uh, we hope you have you now have a better understanding of this topic. And thank you for your time today.